All right, I'm Sarah Youngbauer, and I'm going to be inserting and discontinuing NG tube today. For time's sake, I've already checked physician's orders, scattered my equipment, provided privacy, raised the head of the bed to a comfortable working height, and put the patient in high fowler's position, um, and I've washed my hands. So to start, um, I'm just going to come in and introduce myself to my patient and say, Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm going to be your nurse for the day, and I'm going to be inserting your NG tube. And do you have any questions about that? It'll take about five to ten minutes. Um, so I just explained the procedure that um, it's just a tube that goes in through your nose and down into your stomach so that we can pass um, any feedings or medications. Um, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be painful, and you can stop the procedure at any time if you're uncomfortable. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is assess um, for bowel sounds because we don't want to put a tube down into their stomach and try to insert food and medications if there's no movement. Um, so our patient does have really good bowel sounds, which is awesome. And then I'm also going to assess their ability to cooperate with the procedure, um, any presence of a gag reflex, or um, which na naris is the most patent, patent for um, a tube. So I'm just going to put the towel over there so we don't spill any um, gastric contents onto their gown. Uh, and then I'm going to put my gloves on. I'm going to be um, inspecting our tubing and I'm checking for any um, rough edges or um, kinks or whatnot because we don't want to put a rough tube down someone's nose. Um, and then I'm going to measure it um, for length by starting at the tip of their nose to their earlobe and down to the xiphoid process. And I'm just going to place a piece of tape there so that we know how far to push the tube into their nose, down into their stomach. Okay, so um, I'm going to give our patient a cup of water and tell them that that will help when we're trying to um, insert it. And I'd also um, lubricate four to five inches of the tip of the um, tubing just to help the process go in a little bit smoother. Um, so for starters, I'm going to have the patient tilt their head back as we insert the tubing into their nasopharynx. Um, and I'm just going to do so by pointing it towards the ear and it's going to go right up into the nasopharynx and then once it's in the nasopharynx they're going to tilt their head forward and swallow as the tube goes down and this is also where the water can be useful um, to help them swallow to put the tube back in. Um, and normally you would put it all the way in, sometimes the mannequins have a little bit of trouble, it's got a short little NG passageway. Um, but once it's into the right position I'm just going to tape um, the tubing to the nose um, just to hold the position. Um, if any time in the procedure um, the patient gags, coughs, chokes, um, we can pull the tube out and reinsert it. Um, we can also um, check the oropharynx um, to make sure that the, the tube is not like coiled in the back of the mouth and that's why it's not inserting. Um, and then to check placement besides using the tape that's on the tube, you can also um, Listen for a gastric bubble, and you can also check gastric residual. So I'm just going to kink the tube, hold a cap, and I'm just going to check for 5 to 10 cc's of um, gastric residual. And once I get that, um, I can use my uh, stethoscope to listen for the gastric bubble, and that's just what happens, this, like the air and the gastric contents going back into the stomach. Um, you can hear the gastric bubble. And then the ultimate way to check for placement is getting an x-ray. Um, and I secure this to the gown once the placement was checked and um, if this needs to be hooked up to any um, kinds of feedings or medications I can do that as well. And then I would make sure that the patient was in a comfortable position, um, leave them in high Fowler um, position and then also offer oral care every two to four hours for them. And that is how you insert an NG tube. So next we're going to um, discontinue the NG tube. And again, I'd gather all my supplies. I'd come in, introduce myself to my patient, ID them, you know, check the physician's orders, make sure the bed's in the right position. Um, and I'm just gonna explain that this procedure is a lot less invasive and it's a lot easier. Um, the towel's already here because we just inserted it. Um, but pretty much we're going to first insert 30 cc's of air. We're going to kink our tubing, pull our cap. And insert.
with the air and this just clears the tubing of any um, residual or any fluids that have accumulated in the tube so that it's a little less messy pulling the tube out. So once the tube's cleared, I'll also give my patient a um, towel just so like when the tube comes out, they can kind of wipe their nose with any contents that come up and it's not as messy. Um, and pretty much I'm just gonna take the tape off and in one quick fluid motion, we're just gonna pull the tubing out and deposit it right in the trash with our gloves. And um, I'm gonna clean up the area and document any changes or complications that the patient has with the um, NG tube and then um, check, continue checking their GI function to make sure that it's um, restored back to normal. Um, and then I'd make sure I'd put the bed down um, all the way, leave the side rails up, make sure they're in a comfortable position, make sure that they've got anything else that they need, and come back to check.